top of the morning to all you wonderful, beautiful people. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my snake room for yet another beautiful day. Eh, la, 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 la. What are we doing today? You know what? I had a request to update Halo, which is always a great request. I love to refill. I love to refill, so we're gonna do that today. I gotta thank my lucky stars. All these retakes here have not required me to clean their enclosures all week. Haven't had a single retick enclosure get dirty this week, which is virtually unheard of. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for your time. I can't wait till it's warm again outside though, where I take them all outside because I love, I love you know, take them outside. But it's too cold. It's not the good season for it, but. When it comes, we're gonna do it. Okay, what else is happening today? We're gonna go over to Travis's because Riley is still there and he's got all his snakes there. He's got really cool snakes and I think even a lizard sitting over there. So we're gonna go hang out with him and check that stuff out. And before that, I gotta do my morning snake routine, all right? I really never told you how excited I was to get one of these carts, but that hopefully that explained it. This this thing, I've always wanted one of these things to work with the snakes and finally have one. <laughs> what do you guys think? Halo time? Halo time. Let's do this. Hi. Come out. How about I'll go change the water? You think about coming out. Oh. It's important to me that she's comfortable enough to leave her enclosure on her own just reinforces the positive experiences Halo and I have already had in our lifetimes together, so. Right, Halo? Come on out. Want me to give you a little space? I'll give you a little space. Okay, I'll be back. Okay. Bye. Bye. Can we stay here what for are you doing? a little bit? I'm, I'm letting Halo come out. Oh, okay. Can you say bye to Daddy? Bye, Daddy. Bye, buddy. I love you. Love you too, buddy. Bye, Bye friends. I'll be right back, okay? I'm fine. I'm going to take note of school. Oh, I have a layer. See? I have one jacket on and another. That's <laughs> good, buddy. got a sweatshirt and a jacket today. Layers. What that? Okay, we'll be back, Scrims. What's your name? What that? She's yellow snakey. It's Halo. Hey, what that eyes? Yeah, she's got eyes. Got ears? Uh, she doesn't have ears. Not on the outside, at least. No got ears? No ears. No? <laughs> that was pretty cool. And it looks like she's pretty much done. Doesn't want to come all the way out, which is fine, you know. Well, I kind of like, I let her do what she wants to do and... Hey, hey, Eli. Oh, Halo's coming back out. Halo, you want to come all the way out? So everybody can see your, your, whole, your whole magnificent self? Come on, dude. Come on out. Come on. Let's do this. Let's show everybody how awesome you are. Come on. I don't know, guys. Come 
Come on, Halo, come see me. Halo! Maybe Halo wants to see me. My, yeah. Are you recording? My yeah, name? no, you're fine. Halo! Hello, Halo. Hey, who's got a laser pointer? <laughs> she said bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> she was doing that before I came around. Uh -huh. <laughs> this one too. Right. That bad. Halo's going bye bye, guys. We'll bring her out when I, I'll do a cleaning. I'll bring her out full body, but I really just want to let her come out on her own right now if she wanted to. But she, she came out as far as she wanted to. She's going back inside. Eli, tell, hey, what? come here. Tell me. Tell me everything. Tongues? See? See what? Tongues. Big tongues. Big tongues? Yes. What do you know about those big tongues? Um, kind um, sheep snakes. Sheep rabbits. Oh, you use it to feed the snakes? And rabbits. Oh, you use it to feed rabbits? Yes. You use it to feed rabbits to the snakes? Yes. Yes? And big ones. Oh, big ones. And Tiny ones. And tiny ones? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And white ones. White ones? Yes. And green ones. Green ones? Yes. <laughs> oh, green and ones. And blue ones. Blue rats? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and about... black ones. Black ones? Yes. Anything else? No. <laughs> <laughs> Before we go check out Riley, I would like to read something for you guys. A comment somebody sent that I was really amazed by. Hello Brian, my name is Brian as well. I would first like to say I'm sorry about the loss of your uncle as well as your grandfather. I'm sending you a message to tell you thank you. I've been watching your YouTube videos on both your Triple B channel as well as your vlog channel. Your videos have honestly changed my life for the better. I've always had a huge love for snakes and have had many through my life, but over the past eight years, I haven't had one due to the fact that I joined the army. I spent 10 years in the army, and my last deployment to Iraq in 2011, I was shot three times, blown up, took shrapnel through 40% of my body. And while in the hospital, my wife left me for another man and took everything out of our savings. I ended up losing my house, cars, and everything else I owned. It took me until 2016 to get back to a normal life and start working again. But I was never happy and always depressed and anxious. Back in October, I found your videos. After I watched that first video of yours, I subscribed to your channels and then I sat on my couch for hours watching every video you posted without stopping until I saw them all. Your videos have helped me start feeling better and with each day I got better. It also showed me that what I needed in my life to make me feel complete and to help ease my depression and anxiety was a snake. So I decided that I'd start saving and buy a ball python. So I saved on a Black Friday or my first ever female ball python and on that day I received her I just felt amazing I never knew how much I missed having snakes or how having one would change my whole life and how I felt so now I decided that I want to try breeding but it's not something I'll be able to do for a few years because I don't want to just buy adult ball pythons that are already up to size I want to be able to raise them to breeding size and this way I have time to start saving for everything I will need to make it a reality so again I'd really like to say thank you again for making videos and helping me change my life around for the better and cheering me up and also thanks for getting me back into having snakes and showing me what I was missing in my life. That, that is, is awesome. That's awesome. Right? Does that make it all worth it, right? Every, I mean, I, do, I was going to do it anyway, but it makes it that much more special to have an effect on somebody like that. So, thank you. That's a huge compliment, Brian. So, you, you, we've already talked. You know you can have, answer any questions. I'll answer any questions you have, man. So, thank you for that. We got here to Travis's house and actually been here for a hot minute and we're gonna record and check out some of Riley's snakes and but we've just been sitting around watching this crazy guy on the TV all day long. I mean, maybe if we could stop staring at the TV. I don't know why you would stare at a screen with a face like that on it, but that's what we've been doing. So maybe at some point we'll stop and actually go film some snakes. What do you think? You wanna go film some snakes? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> what about you, doggy? You want to some snakes, puppy? Can we, can we help? Can we help? Can we help? Can 
Quick I've had, we had a late night, we had a long night, and I need energy down like here. I'm, my, I don't even have the attention span to be like, oh yeah, that's great. I'm just kind of like, oh, it's exhausting. <laughs> Riley may or may not have had a little too much wine last night, I think. It's just water. <laughs> oh, it's just water mixed with grape skins. That's what it was. <laughs> Old grape skins and water. It's supposed to be good for you. Nope. Meh. Look at the camera, Brian. Don't look off into the distance. Nobody's gonna pay attention if you can't pay attention to them. God. I can't look at a camera. <laughs> I'm not looking at a camera. I will not look at another camera again in my life. <laughs> yeah, because your, your ADD will think you're cheating on it. <laughs> uh, snakes! What's this giggle fest behind you going on? Here's, yeah, watch your step. I've completely cluttered this room to make it here's a mess. All, all, so Riley, yeah, thanks a lot, Riley. These are Riley's snakes, they've all been, they're escaping the fire, and uh, there's a lot of snakes there. It, it doesn't look like it's a lot of snakes, but but it in actuality it's a lot. Show us how many snakes are maybe in one of these tubs, Riley. Uh, this one has like eight or nine. Oh, no, that one's empty. Where'd they go? <laughs> no, um, those are all in here because they've soiled their bags, but, you know, there's a dozen in here, and oh, I think there's another dozen in here, maybe. Oh, those are the big ones, so less than that, but... Kribo and geckos and... Desperate times call for desperate measures. It's just the way it works. Yeah, fire moves fast, so I move faster. Oh, this guy was a twin. He's super twitchy, but he will never... As far as I can... T well, every time I say that around Travis, <laughs> Travis gets bit. Never. Every time I say that, I get This bit. snake will never bite you. Bite! <laughs> yeah, he's twitchy and he'll flinch. Otherwise, he's great. I mean... Yeah. He's grown in confidence and I can see it in his feeding. He used to be very reluctant to feed and now he wastes no time, so. So, can you tell, this is a... It's a, a zebra jungle. So, uh, it is Morelia spilota shani and it is, uh, I believe the incomplete, I think it's an incomplete dominant, I, my brain isn't working, but um, the super is patternless. These guys are really busy um, on their own right. Lots of crazy patterning, whereas the yellow on a normal jungle tends to be more spread out and broad. These guys are just like hectic all over the place. The head stamps crazy and erratic. Um, and then you throw two of them together and you make completely patternless animals. This is a standard. Say something funny, Riley. Um, Bananarama in my banana hammock. Oh, sorry, this is a family show. <laughs> funny. Something funny. I did it. There you go. I did it. Yeah, this is this is what you would call a your standard jungle, although in the wild they're not going to be selectively bred for all this yellow, so they are a little... Yeah, I'm not sure that I would say anything about that as standard. No, 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 definitely not. I mean, oh, awesome. The rattlesnake in my pants is going off. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I thought you were going to answer it. <laughs> no, my girlfriend can wait. <laughs> Although she's probably trying to tell me that our house is on fire, but yeah. yeah nothing, you're not going to be able to do anything about that from here. No, 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 no. By the way, you got people wishing for your safety and, and looking for updates on, on everything with yeah. your, your house. Yeah, I've been really overwhelmed how many people have been reaching out and trying to, like, I've gotten dozens of phone calls and messages, people that, like, I've never met in person making sure that, you know, my animals and everything are okay, and it's... It's overwhelming, the community response. I, I say it all the time, you know, the reptile community is a close family when things happen like this. People really support one another and it's it's pretty amazing to see, um, especially when it's people you don't know. I mean, you know full well with what you're doing, having people support you that you've never met in person, it's, it's a pretty powerful feeling, so. But uh, I'm hoping to go home soon. Not because I don't enjoy hanging out with Travis, but my liver might need a break. Like I forced him to do it. Yeah, he pour, he pulled my head back and poured all that beer down. My mustache is growing. That's so cool. So this is a black-tailed Kribo. Something that I would really like to keep one day is Dry Mark Khan. I'd also like to someday redeem myself for being on Riley Python Radio and saying Indigo Python. Twice. <laughs> Twice I did it. Riley actually pointed it out to me. He's like, oh, blah, blah. <laughs> Indigo Python, huh? I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> I went back and listened to it. I was like, no, no. I was like, I did glorify myself as being a noob, but I know the difference between, oh, it was, it was, I'm never gonna live that moment down. Because I really want to keep Dry Marcon 
someday and I've kind of decided that it's a dream snake of mine and I've come up with this crazy theory in my head that if I get the snake then it's, it can no longer be a dream snake, it'll be a reality snake and then what the dream snake is going to be, I don't, so I'm, I'm really I don't know what I'm waiting for. I could get one right now, I suppose. And I will someday. But for now, it's gonna stay a dream snake. Super cool. What do you guys think about it? Check this dude out. You can see his face is having a little bit of issue there, and that's simply because you know he was in that pillowcase and he didn't really like being in there but it's like you know having to rub your face on a pillowcase a little bit versus being burnt up in a fire it's like which choice are you gonna make you know probably take a little bit of nose rub of being burnt alive it's like a non-venomous king cobra they don't handle the same as pythons like oh, not at all. they're so awkward off the ground they're just clumsy. Yeah, this is a ground-dwelling species, right? Yeah, yeah. They're just clumsy. I mean, they're powerful and they can climb, like, you know, for the same reason that snakes by their body shape are good swimmers. It's sort of in, innate with them, but, uh, yeah, he's always goofy off the floor. Deep in shed, too. Yeah. It's a big, it happens. He's a big pup. It happens. Poor owie on your nose. Yeah. Poor guy. <laughs> Tongue man. When, so this this is a Savannah monitor, of course. And when Riley got this guy, he, he said he could he like wrapped around his finger with yeah. both arms, right? He's like he's like a thumb size. I have a photo of him hugging my thumb. All four limbs fit in this little range. He was about that long. Is that sweet? Well, look at now. Look. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's a tongue right there, man. As soon as Riley's house stops burning, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go down there and do a Triple B TV episode. Back at home, back at home, getting ready to go to a potluck for our turtle club is having a potluck. I'm gonna leave you guys here though, but first, hey, what do you know? I know. Fighter jets. Fighter jets? What about fighter jets? That they go super fast because they're called fighter and they're called fighter because when somebody fights and they're there, then they need to get away super fast. And that's all I know. <laughs> Do you well, have any fighter so jets? Do they go faster than um, rockets? No. So, so rockets are faster than fighter jets? Yeah, but they still go faster than regular jets. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How much faster? Well, a regular jet like, goes this fast and a fighter jet goes this fast. Are you going to be a pilot one day? Mm -mm. No. What happened to your fighter jets that are face first in the uh, planets? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think we we found something he doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> he know it. Has, has uh, you guys have yourself a great weekend. <laughs> 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 Make sure to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. All right. We'll see you on Monday. Yeah. Oh yeah, Music Monday. Uh, we haven't decided a genre yet. Take the poll real quick and let's let's figure out a genre for Monday, okay? Alright, thank you guys. See you soon.